okay, do you understand the difference between the digital and inverter compressor and when you would use one over the other? Let me explain. First, we're going to start with a digital compressor, otherwise known as the variable capacity compressor or the VCC compressor, all names for the same component here, the same compressor. So the difference in the digital compressor versus a standard scroll is this solenoid here. It's one of the differences. It's used to relieve the pressure of the top scroll plate, which is how the capacity is modulated. Let's look inside. So there's the inside of a digital scroll compressor. It looks the same as a scroll compressor. What happens though, when you want to reduce the capacity, if you lift, the top plate is lifted from the bottom plate. And when they're separated by a very small amount, it doesn't do any work on the compressor. Please note that this is a constant speed compressor, which is the main difference between the variable speed or inverter compressor we'll talk about in a moment. So here's how the capacity cycles. So every 15 seconds, depending on your load requirement, in this case, we have a 50% load. We will be pumping for seven and a half seconds. The plates will be engaged. And then for seven and a half seconds, the plates will be separated. So over the 15 second period in that scenario, you're getting 50% capacity. Okay, next we're gonna look at the variable speed compressor, otherwise known as the inverter compressor or the VFD compressor. The main difference here is you're actually changing the speed of the compressor to match the capacity required. So if you needed 50% capacity, you would slow the compressor down to 50%. Etc. That's the main difference between this compressor and the digital compressor. So which one is better? Well, it depends. They're both great technology. They're both very precise in their controls. They're both highly efficient. I'll give you the pros and cons in my experience. So the VFD compressor does have an advantage of efficiency. The disadvantages are it's more complex. It has an EEV, an extra controller, an extra component if it's got a drive and it's a little harder to work on, so that's the disadvantage. It is quieter as well than the VCC. The advantages of the VCC is it is efficient. It's got precise control, just like the other compressor. It is a lot simpler. It does have a little disadvantage with acoustics. If it's a larger compressor, just be aware of where you install it. Make sure you're taking that into consideration.